Hi everyone! My name is Eva and I am filming my vlog post today from one of my favorite rooms in my house, my art studio. And I'm joined today by my three dogs, Tilo, Clico, and Riggs. So they may be making an appearance throughout this vlog post. I've been painting and drawing my entire life. It's one of my earliest and happiest memories. It's just something that I've always done when I have some spare time to do it and I, I wish I had more time for it. By day, I am a radiation therapist at a large cancer center. In my job, I use high doses of radiation to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. I've been working as a radiation therapist for the past 12 years. After I finished uh, radiation therapy training, I also completed a Master of Science uh, that focused on the radiation biology of prostate cancer. So around the time that I started working as a radiation therapist, I was asked to contribute to a continuing education course about prostate cancer because I have some expertise in this area. And that's basically how I stumbled into the world of instructional design. In the Unpacking Thinking article, I really identified with the example of the child painting. It got me thinking about how my own artistic experiences can fit into Bloom's taxonomy of knowledge. At the bottom of the pyramid, we have remember, and when we are little, one of the very first things we learn to remember is the colors. We take a giant step up the pyramid when we begin to understand more about the colors and how they work together. For example, we learn that red is red and yellow is yellow, and they are primary colors and can't be made from any other colors. We also may learn that when you mix, red and yellow together, they make a new color, orange. We apply this growing knowledge when we start to make our own art. And just like it was discussed in the Unpacking Thinking article, at the upper echelons of Bloom's Pyramid, you kind of go back and forth between analyzing and experimenting, and you draw on all that knowledge holding up the bottom of the pyramid that you now implicitly remember and understand to finally create something that never existed before. Sometimes your experiments will work, and sometimes they don't. But at the top of the pyramid, you know you are creating and using your knowledge at the very highest level. I really value making connections and applying my skills to create new things. And I know that there is a really strong correlation between my happiness and activities that allow me to do this. So because of my interest in doing and creating and using my hands, I really benefit from working in Bloom's psychomotor domain. At the same time, I am a really emotional and sensitive person and at the very root of it, a lot of my learning is motivated by Bloom's affective domain. This is a, do a domain of learning that's concerned with learner behaviors that might indicate uh, your attitudes, awareness, attention, and interest in the subject matter being taught. At the top of the affective domain, think of key words like act, display, influence, modify, perform, question, and solve. When my teachers are passionate about the subject matter they are teaching, when I have a mentor who's really invested in my progress, when the course or the learning opportunities mean something to me, it really allows me to internalize my learning and it motivates me to participate and learn more. That is when I gain the most knowledge and I reach my highest potential. With regards to e-learning, I really like real world examples, case studies, chances to feel invested in the subject matter that's being taught. Thank you for watching my blog post. I hope you enjoyed it. I really look forward to watching yours as well and getting to know all of you a little bit better.